Yeah, yeah. I started yesterday the, the one-on-one meetings, and we we miss each other sometimes. I'm there, they come over, but we'll keep continuing that today. Today and tomorrow will be good days to get some things done. Before the play that you had a chance to meet with the situation there. I don't want to get into that. It's just different guys that I feel I want to talk to, and it could be for a lot of different things. It's not necessarily all starters. Okay, it's just different guys I want to talk to. Uh, I want to get feedback from them. Okay, now because uh, not only the older guys but the younger guys too. To see if they're okay with what we're doing, because I want to. If we can keep everybody on the same page, we'll be better. You know, you forget as a coach what happens is we look at football all day. They don't. They go to class. They have other issues. There's things going on. So things that we find easy, or the older guys find easy. What about the younger guy who may have to play? So I try to pick their brain too. You know, we have a couple of kids here that are just in high school. They're, they should still be in high school. Heck, the one kid just went to his prom last weekend. So, you know, things like that, you like to know where they are, and you have to keep that in mind as you coach those guys, too. In your career, when you've had kids that enroll early, you know, what are some of the things that you've done to, to help them acclimate? Well, the one thing that happens when they do enroll early, it's interesting because they they really, you try to build a base for them with some friends because they, the only guys they have is locker room friends, really, and they get out and campus no one knows and they're, they're, it's very difficult thing all their friends are still in high school they haven't had a chance to to get acclimated to college or they're here so we try to do a really good job of getting them to make sure get around their teammates so they know some people because on your team you have you have clicks you have guys that hang with certain guys and you try to tell them hey you know look out for the young guy because he's a lot like me he doesn't know where he's going either so they, they should hang with me maybe if we stick with and get along well in terms of insulation of the defense, how far along are you guys? Is this, you know, getting close to where you want to be, or how much do you have to still install? Them? Keep installing. We're keeping installing just to take a look at things. We have too much defense. We know that. We just want to take a look at things, and then once we go through the whole spring and look at everything, obviously up until the you know, the, the final spring practice, then we'll go back and, and go back and say, okay, this is good. This is too much. And there's there's always something that, that overloads the players. But we're trying to just get enough of it on film, enough of it on tape that we expose them to different things. Is this kind of what you use spring for, kind of a little bit of experimentation? We do. Uh, we're a little bit different here. We're doing a lot of different things than, than, than uh, some, <clears throat> sometimes in the past. You know, we would just line up and just play two or three looks. That's it. And just get fundamentally sound. But, but we're getting enough done here. I feel that we're, we're getting that done also. But we wanted to make sure we exposed some two different techniques. It wasn't all new when we came back in the preseason. A lot of that has to do with, uh, you know, where we are as a defense and where we're progressing. Did you watch film on all these guys before? You yeah, I did. I did watch film on them by myself. I didn't want any preconceived notions or somebody sitting me telling me about this guy. I, I didn't do that, so I watched them by myself. Is there anyone who stuck out to you? That you yeah, but I'm not going to tell you that because I want to keep them <laughs> humble. I'd like to keep them humble a little while longer anyway. Yeah, we have some guys on defense I think are going to be good players. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited about that. And uh, a couple of the guys that I thought would be good players are good players. But we have a lot of work to do. How do you think Miles Jack has looked at inside linebackers? Well, we're asking Miles to do a lot of things. And I get it, and it's new for him. Uh, we have a lot of different looks on defense, so he's moving around a lot. Uh, and, and it's going to be a learning experience for him inside. Uh, he is versatile enough that we can play him outside and move him around. So we're trying to use his skills. When you were reviewing film on your own, do you focus on looking at the scheme or, or looking on individual players? Just players. I don't, I don't watch scheme. Didn't watch score, didn't watch scheme. Just watch players do different things to see what we could do. Um, you know, when you, when, you, when you put a defense together, there's, there's usually seven or eight things that the players really like to do or understand how to do. And that's what they want to play. We're just got to figure what those seven or eight things are that everybody's comfortable with, that we're all on the same page with. You, you kind of get over the years, you, you figure out that you can only go as fast as your slowest learner. And you always have to play the what if game. Well, what if he's not in? It's not just with your starters, it's the backups too and the those other guys. What if we don't have so and so? You always, I always look at the worst case scenarios and kind of build it from there. Is it a balancing act with a guy like Miles who has such a diverse skill set to take him away from one thing and have him do something else? Yeah, I think so. I think it is. Uh, you know, his skill set, though, we'll use his skill set. But part of the problem, once again, is his skill set may be different than the guy that's behind him. So we've got to put that all together.